If you want to take notes in Notion quickly and efficiently while at the same time having your tasks centralized in one place so that your action items from your meetings can be all retrieved from one simple page, there are two options that you can achieve this. And in this video, we're going to explore those two options and the differences that they entail in their building and maintenance over time. The key thing when it comes to taking notes during meetings in Notion is that you have a meeting notes database. So this is a very simple meeting notes database that is here as part of the Word Without Email template that is also available for free. And here you can also see that we have a master task board and that's a tasks database that is also built directly in Notion. So let's explore the first way to add tasks directly from your meeting into a centralized place in Notion. And that first way requires a relation between databases and the creation of a template. So in this case, we have a master task board and we have meeting notes. We want to add tasks from our meeting notes page quickly without interrupting the flow of our meeting. To do that, we will first go to the master task board and create a relation between those databases. So in here, I'm going to open one of the pages randomly and then add a new property that is a relation type and that links to the meeting notes from the world without email, just like that. And here Notion is asking me whether I want to have it to be limited to only one page, but that's not the case really here. So I want to leave it to many. And then here it's asking me whether I want to show this relation also on the meeting notes page or not. In this case, I will, because we will need this relation to use as a dynamic filter in our meeting notes database. So in here I'm going to add the relation and then I'm going to rename this into tasks just like that. Then from the task database, I can actually hide this relation or maybe show as minimal, just like that, so that it's displayed on the page right here. And now let's go back to the meeting notes database. And in here, we want to have a template because templates speed things up so that we don't need to recreate the same structure every time that you want to take notes for our meeting. And so in here, I'm going to create a new template and I'm going to call this new meeting notes. So this is my template. I'm going to give it a nice icon right here. Here, you see that the database meetings is composed of two properties. One is date, where you can pick your date, and one is tasks. That is the relation that we just added on the tasks database. Tasks really don't need to be displayed in here. So I'm going to show as minimal, just like that. Here on the page, we want to add a section where maybe it says slash h2. This is notes. And then here we can have a bullet point. And then I'm going to add a new section down here that says action items and in here we want to create a linked database that is filtered to show only the tasks that matter for this specific meeting so that from the meeting itself we can quickly add new tasks to do that we can type slash linked database view that is this command right here and from here notion is asking me what database do i want to pull data from in this case it's going to be the master task board from the world without email just like that next up I'm going to choose a view that I already have in the database. That is the table view that I find is the quickest one to quickly add new tasks. And in here, I'm going to hide the database title and then add a filter. And that's the key step in here. We want to add a filter that says where meeting contains new meeting notes. And that's the name of the template. They want to relate the task database so that every time we create a new meeting, this relation would be updated to filter out all the tasks that are not related to that meeting, which means it's going to be empty every time you create a new meeting page. In here, I'm going to save for everyone. And then I can adjust the database to hide some properties here. Like the bucket, just like that. Maybe let's do page in full width. And now we have the action items that we can add quickly from a meeting. So I can also make this template as a default template like that so that whenever I add a new meeting page, that template would be automatically applied to the page. So if I'm creating a new meeting right now, let's see. Here we have a template applied. I can scroll down, I have the action items, and whenever I add a new action item, then it will automatically appear in my task board. If I go back to the task board, you will see that there is the example right here, the action item one. And that's how you can centralize your tasks using relational databases in Notion. Let's explore the second case that you could implement 
to take notes and action items during your meetings and then transfer those in a centralized place in Notion. And this use case doesn't require a relational database, but rather it uses a synced block to pull all your checkboxes, simple checkboxes, into one specific page. So step one of this method is to create a Notion page. So it's going to be a page and we can call this centralized meeting tasks. From here, we're going to add a synced block slash synced block. That's the command right there. And in here, this red outline is telling us that this is a synced block that is going to sync across all the pages where it is located. So once that is created, maybe we can call this meeting tasks. We can have a bullet point just like that. Next up, I'm going to click on copy and sync. And now let's go back to the meeting notes database and I'm going to create a new template. So this is option number one, which is the template that we just created. But now let's create a new template. And this is option two. And in here we can have always the same structure with notes. And then we can have H2 action items. And I'm going to paste the sync block right here. And you see that right now the sync block is in two different places. And that's in this centralized meeting notes page that we have and the meeting notes option two, that is this template right here. So now let's create a new meeting and see how that works. I'm going to create a new meeting right there. First, we're going to turn off the default template. So let's do here. Let's click on empty page and let's do set as default. So let's create a new meeting note. And then let's use the meeting notes option to template. When I click on it, I now have this sync block that is now in three pages in total. And in here, I can add a new task so that you don't really need to interrupt your flow of writing down notes from your meeting, but you can actually write down in simple text as you would in a Google Doc. So those are your tasks that you can take during your meetings. And because this sync block will live inside every meeting note that you have, you don't need to update it every time, but rather you will see all your tasks in this centralized page right here. And maybe at the end of the day, what you can do is you can still have a master tasks database and then you can drag and drop your tasks from here into your master database. And to do that, you can create a linked view of database where you will choose the master task board as a database. And then you will have maybe the master board view right here. So that at the end of the day, you can come here and then do a simple drag and drop of your tasks into the master database and then you can refine them with the bucket or whatever organizational framework you follow like that. You can also select them in bulk just like that and then drag and drop. So now the sync block is empty again and you can reuse it for any meeting that you want and then at the end of the day or at a specific point in time you can drag and drop your tasks into the centralized task board so that you can actually process them properly and assign all the necessary properties to organize your tasks in a centralized manner with key metadata so that you can complete them and make progress on your overall goal and life buckets. And those are the two ways of taking notes from a meeting in Notion. First one, which is using a centralized master task board that is related to the meeting notes and then having a template with a linked view of the master task board filtered to dynamically be updated based on the meeting that you create. And the second option, which is using a synced block that lives in an outside page, but that is replicated in new instances every time you create a new meeting, and then you can do a drag and drop into your master task mode so that you can take notes faster during your meetings simply by typing. And that is it for how you can quickly optimize your note taking system for meetings in Notion. Thank you for watching and see you soon.